hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to solve one of the recently asked interview scenario in these companies and the question was how to find out total days in a month completed days in a month and remaining days in a month so let us get started without wasting much time if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so the first thing is we need to understand the concept behind this okay so always whenever you get such type of questions try to you know break down i always say you know try to break down into multiple parts then only you will be able to answer this question or write this kind of logic in the real time now there can also be a situation where the interviewer might want you to write this calculation directly in the during the screen share or during your interview process if you have tableau well and good we can explore and you know do it if not we need to have a thought process on getting this solved so first thing is we are talking about total days in a month right and then we want completed days and then we need remaining days remaining days in a month now user want to show this in the dashboard so now what is this referring it is always referring to month okay so when i say month it is always current month okay it is always current month so okay we sort out five important things that we need month and current month now when i say current month you should get one thought in your mind okay how can i get my current month or you know current day or current year how can i get or how can we get so we have a function called as a today so i'm going to leverage that to solve this okay you can use order date also to write the calculation okay maybe you can try in an alternate way but i'm trying to simplify it using today function and let us build it okay so i'm just trying to write total total days in a month in month okay now what i'm doing is let us just take this and we will drop it in the shelf and we'll see what we are getting okay i'm just taking exact date we got what we got 17325 which means what with this function we all know we can get either current date or current month or current year right but what is our intention we want total days in a month right now i am just using date trunk part here okay date trunk uh i'm using today i'm using date trunk of uh okay so we'll do one thing first we will add a date add okay date add i'm doing and i'm adding month okay i'm adding month i want to add one month to my today's date so what will this do this will take me to next month right so here if you observe it is 17 3 i'm making it 17 4 right now i want to go to first day of this month okay now what i am doing again i am doing date trunk here okay and i am doing month to this calculation and again i am closing the bracket at the end so whatever the date part we are getting here which means 17 4 that will be truncated to first day of 17 year april 1 first day of april we went which means from current day of previous month to first day of previous month we went we went now what i am doing i am using again a date add part i am doing simple okay date add and i am using day part here to get the day and i am just subtracting minus 1 now what will happen when we do this it will go to the previous month last day this the concept you need to understand very clear okay i hope it is very clear now we got this is the last day of the current month simple so what we did what did we do first we month 
we went to one month ahead okay and then we truncated to the first day of that month which means pre next month first day we went and then from that we subtracted one day which day took us to last day of the current month which means what this is the total number of days in the month right now simply if at all i want uh, i'll just get date part okay date part of what day i need from this what will this give it will give us 31 this is the total days in a month we got the first part total days in a month now what do we need we need uh remaining days right so remaining days if i need i can simply use total days uh what was our calculation here total days in in month is our calculation okay minus completed date so i can use simply date part date part of day of today so which means what from 31 i'm subtracting 17 because 17 we means today's date right which means this is the number of days we have already completed in the current month so what will this give total days minus completed days is equal to remaining days in a month so this is giving us some error what is that error syntax error maybe you're missing an operand okay okay maybe this is because of this so now if i take this let us convert this into a dimension and if i drop it here we got 14 so this is your total days in a month remaining days in a month same thing if you need completed days in a month how can we do simply i'm just trying to duplicate this uh here and i will just write completed here okay so we can simply write only this part that should give us completed days in a month now if i use this in the view we got this so total days in a month is 31 remaining days in a month is 14 and completed days in a month is 17 this is how you can build the logic for this and you can display it on the screen and remember all this will change according to the date that you have written i mean everything is dependent on today function here okay i hope you have learned something new in this video if it does don't forget to share you know or like and you know give a valuable comment in the comment section see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day